using the 3DP1000 as a production machine. You've heard all about the 3DP1000's large build area of one meter by one meter by a half meter. That means you can take an ordinary 3D model and make it extraordinary. But did you know that you can use the large build area to print many small objects at once? That's right, the 3DP1000 can be used as a production machine. Why would you want to do this? Here are a few ideas. Example one, printing multiple pieces of the same part. You may need 10 or 50 or 100 of something, such as a machinery bracket. Each piece has the same model modifiers. This means that each part is sliced in the same way, with the same number of tops, bottoms, outside perimeters, percentage of infill, etc. This type of multiple piece project can be printed very easily. Once the model modifiers are set in the Simplify 3D process settings, click Select Models, then Select All. Click OK, then OK again to accept the process settings. When you prepare to print and preview your file, you will see that the printer lays down one layer at a time for each piece of the project. Example 2. Printing a part that has multiple different pieces. Not every part can be printed as one piece. For these projects, it is necessary to apply different modifiers to your slice settings. One piece may need to have a dense infill percentage while others may not need any. Let's apply these different process settings in Simplify 3D. Set the parameters you want. Then select the model that you would like and accept the settings. Example 3. Setting up a project that builds a complete piece before moving on to print another complete piece. Sometimes there's a need for completely printing a part before moving on and printing the next. This applies to small, sometimes highly detailed parts, where the overall height of the part will not exceed the clearance needed for the actuators. It reduces overall setup time. Each piece prints sequentially without manual starts and stops.